Grand Rising Wonderful Souls and welcome to Bromans Cove Tarot. This is a collective timeless reading on what is coming forward. Um, if you are a new face, welcome in. If you're an old face, welcome back. Thank you for your likes, your shares, your subscribes, your comments. Thank you for your emails. Oh, someone's calling me, my dad. Thank you for your emails. Thank you for booking in readings with me. If I haven't got to you yet, I will. Those who are expecting readings today, they will be sent in the evening because I have a lot of builders. Uh, one second. I have a lot of builders that work outside and I don't mind there being a bit of noise when it comes to collective, but I don't want there to be noise when um, uh, people are paying for readings. Now, what I did get with, when I asked what the message was, I heard desperation, desperation okay and here you've got the fae want to speak to you help us from the inner realms protection step into the circle it's upside down okay and you've got start saving so someone's having to someone owes some sort of money to the wrong people and i heard no correction to the wrong person how interesting okay let's see and there's a lot of blocked energy here as i can see with my cards not wanting to shuffle Someone's trying to block something. Let me see. Yeah, and look, you've got communication. So here's what they're trying to block straight off the bat. Your second house and your third house. So, excuse me. <coughs> you have third house, which is Gemini. You have someone who sits in their, um, their shadow side. Because it says here, neighbours from hell, passive aggressive communication, limiting thought patterns, mental health issues, estranged siblings, slander, myths, mistruths, lack of interest or purpose. So you have someone here who's gang stalking still, somebody who has a very blocked solar uh, plexus chakra, um, and it's all about money. It's always been about money with the ball, especially with that being Taurus in your second house. You could be a Taurus or Gemini, or this could be the people that we're talking about that are putting in a block. Now, with Gemini being upside down, if you are a Gemini, it's not saying that you sit in your um, shadow side. It's saying that whoever's doing this is trying to um, pull you into that. Okay. So, okay. So we're talking about desperation to do with the second and third house interesting let me think more from here yeah open it okay so we have something here to do with it's almost like a pushy deal or a pushy contract someone having blocked communication about their money because something else is coming in that they want you or they might want to say yes for but that this is blocked very blocked okay what's blocking and why let's see what's blocking what's blocking us we have business partner this is what they're blocking they're trying to block this business partner or this business deal from coming in that will actually bring in quite a lot of money you've also got in here scapegoat okay and freezer spell i knew it there you go so someone's trying to use a freezer spell to block out um a light one or a light one from communicating with someone that would actually bring in a really big deal for them you've also got as above so this is coming through anyway this is a massive blessing it's a massive blessing or it's a you know it's a reward for hard work done by this light one you've also got scapegoats smearing your name secret messages gossip will contact you illusions and blaming you okay so this is what they're trying to put in place should i pop that one there no on there okay anything else on this deck I heard no move on okay so let's have a look I hope everyone is having a good day um we have here surrender and deceit okay someone is hoping that you a light one someone you're thinking of may actually surrender to this um illusion or that you may actually give up especially with this freezer spell being here you know, this could be lack of motivation. This could be making you sleep too much. This could be making you daydream too much. Take it as it resonates. Because you've got shame here and deceit. Someone is trying to hide what it is that they've done. There's someone who's very, very guilty. And I heard, but I can't pay for it, though. I can't pay for it. Look, deceit and hold, woman holding a coin. Someone definitely was paid to place this freezer spell on a light one. Now, remember, this story <clears throat> may not be yours because this is a general reading. This could be happening to someone that you know. This could be happening to somebody in the vicinity of where you live. Okay? Or this could just be happening to another light one. Take it as it resonates. 
and you have soul forgiveness and a woman holding the coin so you have someone here who is hiding um they're hiding what they did because this isn't the first time is what i'm hearing and especially with this soul forgiveness you have someone here who's either trying to block that from coming in or someone who is coming in with the guise of an apology or wishes that they could say sorry but they know that it's not enough it's just not enough okay because they're still trying to do the most okay yeah because you've got here is this me anxiety upside down and then you have rage okay this person felt like they were getting a release from sending whatever it was that they were sending towards you the person that you're thinking of another person in your vicinity or this light one okay they felt very justified for doing this you know now whoever it is that wants to come forward and Eva come forward with this business offer they're actually quite angry or they hold a lot of unbridled rage about your money or money that's owed to you or a prediction that money is coming in and I heard they know how much because you've got caring connections and you've also got soul forgiveness okay there's somebody here who wants to build a bridge it may be a family member what else wants to come out because I heard gun crime why do I keep hearing about guns why do I hear gun crime what's that about and you've got awakening scarcity and fifth chakra archangel gabriel this was about blocking your um not only were they trying to block communications from a light one there was also something to do with blocking communications between themselves or getting rid of some sort of um communication whether that's emails text messages you know um record that there's been skypes because <coughs> i keep coughing now this was something to do with how to keep a light one in scarcity and stop them from awakening all right there was some sort of plan plot or um, you know something was hatched together and now they're trying to get rid of that information i heard burn it burn it burn it but for some reason i'm seeing someone like um soaking it in water to get rid of ink how interesting look at this yeah this freezer spell was to block also if you are if you have your own channel if you have your own platform it was wow that's crazy it because this one says speak up it was to do with your voice and how you connect with others because you've also got downcast pride upside down because people could see you genuinely for who you were that you weren't coming with ego that you know this light one was just spreading their message as the message came and i think that this message may have uncovered a lot of misdeeds that Whoever this person is that's been sending this freezer spell or paying to have this free freezer spell, it was uncovering a lot of misdeeds that they did or it really resonated and the people that have been gang stalking with them realised how much it resonated and started questioning who they were. Because you've got Temple of My Body upside down. There may have been health spells or someone's been, yeah, they kind of outed this person about this as well. Because look, you've got Sacred Lust and down, a Downcast Pride. Someone here kind of changed, um, there may have been somebody in this circle that changed their mind on um, <clears throat> gang stalking or what it was that they were either paid to do or manipulated to do because of um, them either falling in love with a light one or falling in love with the words of inspiration of a light one okay because you've got downcast cast pride and my temple path upside down all right somebody was sitting on the fence about whether they wanted to be part of this family because i'm also getting like the um the name like the house of asia you know how um back in the 80s you'd have um drag houses and they'd have like really big competitions and they'd have different names um that's what i'm getting as well okay secrets revealed there you go there's some sort of there's something going on with um drag queens or um going to see um like drag shows but feeling really shameful of it because i heard snm as well grief with downcast pride somebody definitely listens to a light one or watches a light one or is it inspired by somebody who either has their own platform their own social media or just in in um communication if they if somebody has had communication that's part of this even if it's in passing it's really inspired them but there's there is this resistance it's almost like a bubble is what i'm hearing there's a bubble around somebody and i heard around someone's ego 
but they're pushing against it. They know that they should be um, healing. They know that they, should, they shouldn't be doing the things that they're doing. And it's almost like they can't help themselves because you've got creativity upside down. This person is very, very blocked, but not only from their creativity, but from their own, their own guides. And they're bringing in their own scarcity with what it is that they've done. And I feel like they now know this because with this, is, it, is this me? There was definitely something that was done fraudulently in the name of a light one, but it's coming to bite them on the arse now because they have no protection. Look, and I had said about creativity, they've really put blocks in for themselves. And I heard a family feud. There's a family feud, second, second chakra, Archangel Ariel and resistance upside down. Somebody's outing someone in a family, either to the courts, but no, to a community as well. Someone needs to let go. Someone even is, oh no, someone has let go. Somebody's walked away from a family. I had a toxic family and a toxic partner and it keeps giving me the sign of home. Okay, what else wants to come out? Yeah, shine. Someone felt very disempowered in what they were doing or they've also realized that what they were doing was disempowering someone else and they were wrong for doing so. But I heard you can't stop me and unhinged. Who is this? Please and thank you. Please and thank you. And I had doctor's note. Somebody who may not work, they may have a doctor's note, they may have had to take time off of work because they felt so unwell. Or this could be you or a light one who has felt really unwell and had to take time off of work. But somebody here with this doctor's note, it's almost like whatever they've been doing has made them, it's made them so sick that they've had to stop working because here it says financial constraints. Okay. Well, this person has been now freezed out or blocked out of being able to steal someone else's intellectual property because you've got joy here and grief okay someone removed cords or done some sort of spiritual cleansing and or they've changed some sort of password on their laptop on their phone put up a firewall but whatever they've done has really released them from whatever was here whatever whatever attempts to block my head thwarted Anything else that would like to come out to you today? Ooh, whoa, whoa. So what wants to knock down this freezer spell? Look at that. That's divine guidance. Because it says here, goddess of the moon. Okay. You have a light one who had this sent to them. And it was knocked away. It's almost like it's been sent back to this person. Or people. But I did hear person. Whoever it is that paid this person to do it came up against either a deity, an elemental, an angel, something that governs the energy of around the moon, and that smashed it, it smashed it down. It was supposed to, I don't know if they tried to petition something, I heard yes, and did it work? I heard it did, but whoever it was that they petitioned wanted, wanted more than what they could give. Look. Wanted more than what they could give. Look, it's blocking everyone. This is crazy. So you have, ah, this freezer spell. It was done by more than one. It was paid by one, but it was pushed by more than one, if that makes sense, because you have community here, and then you have got your seventh chakra, Archangel Uriel. It wasn't just to block communication with, let's say, um, your family, or to block communication with the community. It was to block, look at this. It was to block communication with whoever this business partner is that may also be a romantic partner, maybe a divine counterpart, you know, but take it as it resonates. And this deity, energy, elemental, whatever it was, said no. Um, you know, either they started doing this and it was working. They angered this energy in some way. They angered this energy in some way. What did they sacrifice or what were they asked to sacrifice? Because the way that that card came out and smacked that down, it covered over. So for, I think for a period of time, is this past, present or future? I heard present, present, present. So they tried doing this and they may have tried doing this on the last full moon. And there was a sense of relief that it was actually working, but then it stopped working. And I want to find out why did it stop working? And I heard fools, downcast pride. I don't know if this elemental or energy read this light ones and said, uh-uh, 
I'm not supposed to be going up against this person. I'm not supposed to be going up against this light one because their team is too big. Look at this, because you've got wait for winter upside down and you've got inner child. They saw into someone's um, solar plexus. They saw into someone's raw energy. Ooh, and they saw the bloodline and they also saw um, whatever energy this was that was petitioned, said yes at first and then realized that the sacrifice was too big. Wow, because look, wait for winter and healing. It's almost like this energy went back and just said, no, I'm not doing this because um, if I do this, it's gonna hurt me too much. Okay, because wait for winter to me is about giving someone the cold shoulder. But when it's this way around, it's almost like it went back and communicated and said, I'm not doing this, okay, because there's too much at stake for me. And there's a bit, it's very big stake for you. Let me hear more, please and thank you, please and thank you. Let's see what wanted to come out. Pure intention, up or down, down. Okay. So if I pop this over in here, whoever it is that's had this ill intent, it's, it's almost like a, a broken record. It's just being reverberated back and they're seeing more and more lack in their life. Whereas what they wanted to do was keep whoever it was that they had with them chained to them. There's this illusion that, yeah, look, channeling soul song and create space. Somebody was trying to... Um, channel with I don't know, they were trying to contact ancestors whose ancestors were they trying to contact yours i heard yours or this light ones they were and it says create space they may have been trying to change something especially with this freezer spell to change the direction or course of um choices made now especially with lion's gate because right now it's about, you know, we're coming up, it's nearly September. I know that we're only on the 15th, but in two weeks we'll be in September. And this is about resistance and removing, you know, um, codependent kind of energies. They're trying to slow this down. They were trying to slow this down. Yeah, they were trying to slow this down. That's transformation upside down. Okay, and whoever it was that they went to, who was it that they went to? I heard Mars. So this, they may have used Mars water, but there is a deity or energy that is linked to Mars that they went to. Tell me more. Let me see. Remembrance. But they're trying to block this. It's almost like they're trying to block um, memory to past lives, to bloodline, to also just your personal um your personal power and the path that you should be on and especially with the scapegoat and, and smearing campaign they're trying to slow down anything they can so that you don't find this because when you find ultimate balance this is all going to come out okay and you've got nature signs be receptive to the subtle messages from nature as you go about your day nature talks to us continuously we need only open our hearts and minds you got to remember we are still going through a lot of heart space healing okay why are they both backwards we're going through a lot of heart space healing but that you know at the same time as it giving strength it also brings up vulnerabilities and whoever it is that's sending this because look you've got let go someone was trying to get you to let go of balance okay and again it comes through communication and i keep hearing fifth house drama why do i hear fifth house drama Please and thank you. And I heard, I keep hearing doctor's note. Either someone needs to go and get a doctor's note. Someone's actually having to go to the doctor's look. And you've got protect your dreams. So this is a lot of astrally projection. Um, anyone who hasn't been doing cord removals, you need to. If you're not comfortable with the way that I do them, with the videos that I've provided, that's okay. Please have a look at other ways. Um, but make sure that you are doing that with um, firm intention. Um, you've also got wish wisely, yeah, use your wishes wisely to manifest your heart's desire and take practical steps towards making your dreams come true, okay, but someone isn't doing this, there's a light one who hasn't done this removal and needs to, <coughs> because someone's still trying to visit a light one's dreams, ask your soul, okay, so this is also, um, a light one needs to connect with their higher self, 
and actually ask their higher self to help remove any bindings, any cords, any hooks, any attachments, and any like etheric um, contracts that have had that your you know this light one's name written in. Okay, because look, I've just opened it and it says ask for help. Okay, now and find balance. Someone needs to connect with their ancestors and with their higher selves, or needs to up their daily um, practice. Anything else from here? Yes. Okay. Oh, oh okay. That won't need to come straight out. Okay. I cannot get it. Let me see if I can get down and reach it. Let me see. Magical blessings. There you go. It says, whatever you're going through, you're being assisted by magical fairy blessings. The fairies say you can bless others too. All right. Someone may have to, make, someone may need, need to bless their home, bless water, bless a candle. Um, or it may just be this, um, this message that whoever it is that has not removed energy and also every day when you wake up in the morning assessing how you feel and it's not just how am I feeling I feel anxious I feel sad I feel happy um, assess your energy levels when you wake up are you feeling really exhausted do you feel like you're going through mud are you you know really energetic and, and really you know energized because if you're feeling sluggish you're being asked to also kind of like um, cleanse your energy, your auric field, whether that is literally closing your eyes and imagining that you have lights on your hands and that you're cleansing it off and, you know, cleansing it off and then shaking it out. Whatever resonates for you, is so, that's something that needs to be incorporated as well because with that protect your dreams um, and especially with communication, there's some sort of a blockage there, but there's also a block that's been put in by your guides to stop whoever it is from invading and, and I heard investigating, I heard curious, magical gateway, okay, and go outside. Somebody's trying to block you from going through some sort of light portal, maybe when you're sleeping, okay, or from you being able to open one in your home to remove the unwanted. Yeah, look, I told you, magical gateway and motivation okay that comes back to you know full circle to that the the word that i got when i first started channeling which was um desperation someone is trying to put the energy of just being slow of being you know oh, i'll sleep another hour or i'll just watch another tv show rather than getting up and going and doing this and doing that okay so make sure that because you've got temptation here as well and then you've got divine feminine so this is very much about trying to place um, a lackluster energy onto your divine feminine energy irrespective of your gender okay because with divine feminine this is talking about how you create how you imagine how you um you know how you make room for whimsy and and so on and so forth but with this temptation upside down you're just being told to continue to cleanse away anything that may have been sent astrally and with this magical gateway as well it says under here it takes courage and trust to venture into the unknown yet this is where the greatest rewards are it's time to step boldly forward without looking back a light one is being encouraged to remove blockages or to find visualizations guided meditations you know um yoga poses whatever it is that really resonates for you when you do your energy cleansing and to up that ante because someone is definitely trying to put this block in here and make it so that you know this light one feels really lackluster and they also may be trying to it's almost like when i said curious or investigate they're closed off at the moment they seem to be very closed off from being able to do this themselves which is why a freezer spell was sent by someone else okay so they do not know what your next steps are and with this curious investigate it's almost like they're trying to read what this light one's energy is like now because with this divine feminine and with creativity being upside down it's not just about blocking creative flow it's also seeing how this light one holds themselves how they how they walk how they talk how they think you know because there's still this energy of wanting to project especially with us having second house um, you know, second house money and work. This is about because um, I heard losing followers. They're losing followers and they want to get them back. So they need to know what the next step is. What's the next move for this light one? Wait for winter. Wait, yeah, again with pure intentions upside down and channeling. They're trying to muscle back into a light one's energy field. Okay. They're trying to place some sort of energy of depression. Okay. They do not want this. And that's what 
This is what light ones are being asked, either you, the person you're thinking of, or whoever's in your vicinity. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Whether this is another light one, it says find balance. Find the balance between your work, rest, playtime, and you will have more energy, harmony, and pro productivity in your life. Take a power nap, okay? And then underneath it says solitude. And then celebration. You're being asked to find that balance. If you feel like you're overworking yourself, or you're losing focus in your work, take a step back, take, take a moment for yourself, you know, to recalibrate, to re-energize yourself, to go back in again, because this energy here is almost like with solitude as well. You're being asked to reflect, because it says think of being alone as meaning you are all one and in total harmony with everything. The greatest treasures are those that wait silently during your quiet times. Someone saying, someone saying, the divine is saying that someone here needs to take time for themselves whether it's to meditate or whether it's to reflect okay and whoever it is that's sending this is hoping that a light one doesn't do that and that they continue to feel um i had sloppy or stuck in a rut or just feeling down and depressed or feeling emotional and that's why you're being asked to take that moment and whether that is you or another light one to actually check your own self how do i feel today and does my energy field need a bit of a cleanse do i need to change my my spiritual practice slightly do i need to up that um but that is what you're being asked to do definitely because it says ask your soul okay anything else that wants to come out of here there's some sort of party okay there's still this party invite that someone is being called um to use their discernment about whether they should go or not because you have celebration wisdom and abundance okay celebration is the only one that's up okay you're being asked to celebrate any of um these massive milestones that you've been through especially with the amount of turbulence that's that has gone through many light ones lives however you've also got wisdom upside down and abundance upside down okay because so with celebration it says get ready to let your hair down and celebrate it's time to go out and dance and play an invitation could be on the way but then you've got wisdom upside down and you've got abundance upside down be careful is all i'm saying and use your discernment you also have here um vesica pieces which um i've been told is to do with um sacred geometry okay you may find answered through meditation with sacred ge geometry have a look at Sri Antra as well because that is really beautiful they have a lot of different um sacred geometry um formations that you can find online for wealth for health for abundance for clarity um and they are very very effective so this may be someone is being asked to kind of um, look into guided meditation, but also look into meditation, even if it's only five minutes where you're quiet and where you just let whatever comes through your mind come through your mind. Those of you who find that a little bit difficult because it does take time to do so, you may be called to have a look at Sri Antra and have a look at the sacred geometry and start using those because they can help you to... Um, connect yourself to your I am presence. I've used them before and they're amazing okay and soul writing somebody also may find out the blueprint and i heard the doors of their cash may open so some people may actually find um using sacred geometry will actually help you get to the doors of your akasha as well but i heard not for all because there's somebody who is watching you um <clears throat> or trying to find out what your next step is and they may have tried using these things only for it to be thrown back at them okay not that one which one that one okay why did this one come out on its own interesting so we got respect hand fasting and summer did you want me to take those yes this is something to do with someone's trying to slow down this business partner from coming in or this union from coming in okay you have somebody who um because i'm getting a feminine energy but it's not just that person you also do you want to take this one or this one this one first you also have somebody who is in their mid 50s okay look who may be placing the name or face of a light one on their altar and you've also got here fertility okay they want something to grow for this light one but then i heard benefits me benefits me Tell me more. Tell me more about um, the bull 
and the twins. The bull and the twins. Three two, three, two, the bull and the twins. There you go. Whoever it is that has been spying can no longer do so, but they are trying to pay for someone else to do it, but it was blocked. Who was it blocked by? I heard ancestors, but I also heard the name Esther. Esther. I don't know who Esther is. That may resonate for some of you. And Aster. Third house, second house. Tell me about third house and second house. There we go. Okay. Yeah, someone definitely tried to put a freezer spell in there. Okay. All right. It's kind of telling us what we already knew because you have here Yule, which is rebirth. They're trying to block some sort of. I think it's like um, the the light codes that are activating in our bodies at the moment because of Lionsgate. It's almost like they're trying to mess with the ending of that, but it's already happening. Um, because that says rebirth upside down and then you've got soul song okay they're trying to change or slow down or delay <coughs> this light one finding out what their blueprint is what their actual divine blueprint is because you've also got passion and fire upside down okay so this could be uh, a leo aries or sagittarius now you could have those um signs you could have those in your sun sign or in your rising or moon sign or this could be who it is that's sending it okay because you've got scarcity here as well so you definitely have um for some reason i'm getting leo a leo who has been blocked or they may be trying to freeze assets is what i'm hearing and I heard crime in your name. So again, this comes back to the slander and trying to sign stuff. Because you've got moon cycles. They got something wrong. When they done this freezer spell, whoever it is they petitioned, they didn't know this deity properly. Well, that's crazy. Because look who we have in the corner here. If I can pick this person up. We've got Medusa. That's crazy. Because Medusa, they got this person wrong. Medusa isn't a monster, you know, in this, if, if, you know, whoever it is that was doing this actually bothered to research this energy properly or the story or the, you know, the mythology, Medusa was never a monster. Medusa was one of the high priestess or priestess of Athena. And it, I cannot remember if it was Apollo who was obsessed by her and sexually attacked her you know, sexually assaulted her, and Athena turned her into this. And there are two um, endings to why Athena did this. One, because of pure jealousy, but the other one was, <clears throat> if I turn you into this, no man will ever come near you again, and you'll never be sexually assaulted again, because Medusa was so beautiful. But Medusa is a massive advocate for anyone who has been assaulted, anyone who is a sexual assault, a survivor. She helps people with their rage to alchemize that into love, self-love, you know? So whoever it was who did this, you know, and you know, if they have been looking at this energy and trying to petition this energy to bring in pure rage, it went wrong. Because you have moon cycles upside down. They either did it at the wrong time of the moon, used the wrong moon. Ah, they used Mars water, didn't they? They used Mars water thinking that this person or this energy was going to, you know, completely attack. And that's why you have fire upside down. It went wrong. It went wrong. And it went wrong, yeah, because over here you've also got um, Yule upside down. Instead of taking their anger and letting Medusa or that energy or whoever it is that they petition help them to alchemize that from fire into a rebirth of their own, they try to use Mars water, which is very aggressive, very, you know, it's fighting water. And that's why I heard Mars at the start. There was a Mars energy that they had used. They use that to try and bring scarcity into this light, light one's life to stop an, a, an awakening. And all it done was it was sent back. It was sent back aggressively as well, is what I heard. It was sent back aggressively. How oh, interesting. And what's this one? Yeah, moon cycles. Upside down. There may have also been some sort of attempt to mess up um, if you are a woman or go by she or her. Um, someone's menstrual, menstrual cycles or someone's like vitamin levels that are, are, like um, affect their menstrual cycle 
okay yeah someone was using candle magic to do so anything else that wants to come out again this person doesn't they don't respect um the way that this they don't respect the way this light one holds themselves or they have very little respect for themselves and that is where the jealousy comes in autumn you have autumn candles guardian again they're trying to remove someone's guardian okay this is something that they have been trying to do for a while i heard it's my christmas present it's my christmas present someone who oh they're really really trying it you've got summer hand and death upside down okay um this is something that they've tried more than once but with that watchtower of the north being winter it's all about freezing out they've been trying to freeze out assets but it sounds like they've frozen out their own assets and they froze out their own guardian because this this energy over here may have been a guardian for a while, but with this upside down, they seem to have lost this guardian or this guardian doesn't want to work with them. And whoever this business partner is, this divine counterpart coming in may actually have this energy working with them anyway, which makes sense why they went to petition and, you know, thought it was working and it also got sent back. Silliness wow okay anything else that i need to know before i go invocation someone needs to invoke um i heard removal again it comes back to whoever it is that has not done that revocation they need to do it and i heard tomorrow 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 do not leave it until tomorrow is what i'm hearing this one you want me to have a look at this one let me have a look because you've got global consciousness this person there's some sort of want to uh, to remove look you've got positive outlook and then you have global consciousness it's almost like they want to um pull someone in it's not so much into depression it's more like they want to pull this light one into not caring about being awakened okay wealth and prosperity because being awakened and being on your true path and finding out the blueprint of what your your life's mission is will bring in a lot of wealth and prosperity not only for this light one but for all of those that this light one cares for that care for them and it's not just wealth and prosperity just on that it's almost like on a global scale anything else that would like to come out please and thank you okay we have seven and it says spiritual awakening see i told you they're trying to stop someone from either going through a spiritual awakening or finishing accessing those light codes and you, yeah wealth and prosperity is coming through again this person or people may have made a lot of money from doing this to others because it says strength awareness and sensitivity okay this person over here one of their guardians may have been an empath when they were awake this person um yeah if this is actually medusa who was their guardian and it says on here strength awareness and sensitivity this is the reason why also who because this 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 energy over here, this Medusa, may have actually been the guardian of whoever it is that was sending this freezer spell. But when they started trying to petition them to actually send it towards this light one over here as well, well, it didn't work. You can't, you know, if that person, if that energy is already protecting this light one, just because they protect you as well doesn't mean they're going to go and attack someone else who's also you know under their guard and you've also got 13 achieve your goals here they did not achieve their goals they did not okay and it says here the universe is sending loving rays your way and it's upside down okay there was something else they were thwarted by and i'm getting um i'm getting the violet flame someone uses the violet flame and it burnt away also what was sent but i heard coughing fit when it was sent back it, it sent some sort of coughing fit peace and love for all yeah their ill intent was just sent back and this is the root chakra it was to destabilize anything else that wants to come out let me have a look not that one i've been told not that one okay last ones before i go you've got beard here okay why have i got beard and i'm dying Ooh, and heal me okay so you've got whoever this person is that's in their 50s this male energy okay ah this person may come forward as a fake business partner as well i'm dying so if you don't you know if this light one isn't interested in this business 
they may come forward with some sort of you know sob story that they're dying they may actually be dying and it says heal me <clears throat> heal me now underneath it says demigod so here you have demigod and look blocking your communications and they were using a demigod of some sort to do so shut the front door shut the front door and when i put it like this it says i'm blocking your demigod Hell. with that guardian that is very interesting especially with the partner coming up as well whoever your um divine counterpart is they may be a demigod or they may come from a lineage of demigods because look you've got underneath glamour spell <coughs> trying to glamour this from either the other person or from you because what does it say here social media yeah blocking that person's social media media can i pull that one off you've got social media ah so doing a lot of slandering and gossiping on social media glamour spell Frenemies, Moss Agate. Someone may want to work with Moss Agate, or if you have Moss Agate, you may be asked to sleep with it, especially with it saying protect your dreams. Okay, look, planned attack. Kidnap, drug mule, prostitution, gang, gang affiliation. Who hired a hitman hiding red rum? Mm -mm -mm. Well, and then underneath we have Satanic Cult. What a way to end a reading, hey? Divine source and spirit, yeah, you guys are protected. Without a doubt, you're protected. October. There's something that they were trying to plan for October, but you're being told that you are completely and utterly protected. Because look, you've got Galactic Federation. There's a lot of trying to block away because you've got gossip upside down. Them learning that you're a star seed, maybe learning that they're not a star seed, or there's something about your lineage or your bloodline, or just your energetic vibration that they haven't been able to block you off because everything that is sent if it even if it does attach it doesn't attach for very long okay and things that would have been sent to others okay and it seems like there is some sort of community now that either wants to invite and this community as we can see is this wanting to invite a light one guising it as magical blessings okay because i think they're now realizing that whoever this light one is they're a lot stronger and a lot more protected than they expected okay because they just want to eat energy and that flew straight out and look who's scared now because the thing is i always say this things that happen on the etheric realms always trickle down it may take time but it always trickles down to this realm what else wants to come out yeah fear 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 comes back to the start desperation now they're desperate to either pin something in light light one's name but it's also i had give up the ghost they want a light one to just stop so they're trying now rather than attacking in um a very confrontational way is doing things slightly to slow down a light one they want to try and slow down imagine like a bear fighting a goat you know and the goat is actually them and the bear is the light one they're trying to slow that bear down running in circles running in circles slow them down slow them down but someone needs moss agate especially for their heart chakra okay itchy dry skin and big amounts of debt okay they're trying to put some sort of fear into a light one over either health issues money issues and it says make it stop at all oh, i won't read that one that's not very nice okay whoever it is who is doing this already is very depressed themselves and needs to seek mental health support without a doubt okay whoever it is is getting caught out also for copying it's just i'm not copying i swear of course you are okay people and it says at the bottom cloning cards and it says don't get complacent keep up your affirmations divinations prayer and mantras okay anything else that would like to come up before i go the advice one they said okay so i'm going to go with this one and it says time to time to cross the threshold okay i wasn't even going to get these ones out and it says shakana this is to do with your heart space healing and alignment okay Ooh, some of you actually may be housing demigods 
there may be some light ones here who are getting ready to ascend to ascendant masters and some who with these light codes this activation that we've been going through with, with um lion's gate may be activating um gifts and insights from the lineage that they have come from wow we okay let's see what would like to come out let me turn it that way last bit before i go thank you thank you thank you what does the light consciousness need to know and it says here hydrate okay someone's not drinking enough okay especially if you channel if you get downloads if you're getting those instant hits of visions or aha moments you need to be hydrating a lot you have sex and you have drink tea okay so here also this is to do with connection all right someone is drink tea why am i being shown this and sweet tree okay someone might be celibate and considering having sex but also this satanic cult under here you're being told to use your discernment because community wait for winter hydrate and sex being there and then tea it's almost like this this cult here or this group over here are trying to block you off from your own intuition and your own guide so that whoever it is that comes forward especially with protect your dreams they're trying to send this sexual energy again but in a really subtle way into someone's dreams okay write a gratitude list you need to write something down some sort of affirmation that will build your strength especially in the the spiritual realm in the ethers okay use your hands is upside down so this is almost like a message saying you don't you don't have to um physically do something it could be visually it could be an affirmation that you think in your head before you go to sleep because look energy work all right that is the advice is you need to heighten your energy work whether that is working on one chakra at the time but green has been coming out a lot so it may be the heart you need to continue with and look for fairies upside down and meditate is upside down because this is what is they're trying to block okay so you have fairies upside down meditate and create art upside down so right now what you you know this is my suggestion from the divine um for light ones to be looking at picking especially the heart space because it's almost it's the center you know that connects our higher set our higher energies with our lower energies or our lower chakras to continue working on your heart space okay and this is what's going to block out this energy i'm going to leave it there i really hope that gave you some guidance some confirmation and some clarity on what you're ready to be new <coughs> excuse me if you're new to my channel and you liked what you saw um, and it really resonated for you, I'd love for you to hit on the like, the subscribe and on the notification bell so you can see more of my content. Um, if you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much. It means the world that you come back and that you comment and let me know how it resonates for you. Um, if anyone would like to have a personal reading, all of my information is in the description box. Um, I will see you in the next one. Bye.